This is the Heretic's Fork. It was a tool designed by the Inquisition to silence those who dared to speak out against the church. Now this is a replica, but the real Heretic's Fork was sharp and it would dig upwards into the chin and down into the chest so that the sinner was unable to speak. Back then, instead of getting shadow banned, you'd get one of these. But the question is, what blasphemous secrets was the Inquisition trying to silence? Well, see, in the dark halls of the Inquisition archives, hidden away for centuries, a mysterious book was discovered known as Interrogatio Johannes, or the Secret Supper. And this book belonged to a heretical group of Christians called the Cathars. They believed it contained the true teachings of Jesus Christ that was kept hidden from the world. But what were those teachings and why would the church that supposedly built on Christ's teachings hide this book? This is the Satanic Bible, written by Anton LaVey in 1969, and in it LaVey writes that if the devil were a liar, then it would have been Satan, not God, who wrote the Holy Bible. And that's exactly what the Cathars believed. For them, the actual Satanic Bible is the Bible itself. Now that might sound crazy, but the Cathars were not the first Christians who believed that. This is the world's first Bible. And what if I told you that the man who created the world's first Bible would agree that the Bible that we have today is evil, twisted, and corrupted by dark forces? And then there were the Gnostics, who were ancient Christian mystics that believed that the being that the church worshipped was actually the devil in disguise. The Gnostics formed secret societies where they taught hidden knowledge that the church tried to destroy. But what was that hidden knowledge. Today we're exploring the heretical beliefs of the Cathars, the truth about the world's first Bible, and the secrets of the Gnostics to uncover the Bible's shocking satanic origins. And we'll answer the question, is God actually the devil? My name is Morg and I'm an ex-Christian revealing hidden knowledge to create a new world. Remember to like and subscribe to help spread this information and check out my new book, Neogenesis, Dawn of the New Mind. The link is in the description of this video. Do you know why the Inquisition was created? It was a powerful institution established by the Catholic Church in the 12th century and it was designed to root out heresy, blasphemy, and witchcraft. And the Inquisition was known for using violence and torture to extract confessions from heretics and forcing religious conformity through fear and brutality. Now, you probably knew that already, but did you know who their primary targets were? The Cathars. But why was the church so terrified of the Cathars? Imagine this, it's the Middle Ages, and the church has a stranglehold on Europe, heretics are burned at the stake, but in the shadows there's a group whispering that the God we know might not be the true God. See, the Cathars believed that Satan had twisted the scriptures and that the God worshipped by the church was actually the devil. In their book, The Secret Supper, which was seized by by the Inquisition, it describes how Satan manipulated humanity into believing that he was God. So the Cathar interpretation of the Bible is the total opposite of what we've been taught. It's kind of like how we have different political parties today, where each one says the other is evil. The Cathars were saying, hey, what if what the world has been told about the Bible is just propaganda by Satan? For them, the Bible was fake news. Now that might sound crazy, but think about it. Growing up as a Christian, I was always taught that the Bible was the ultimate truth, but as I got older, I started questioning why the supposedly holy word of God would contain so much violence. Doesn't that seem suspicious? In the Bible, God demanded blood sacrifices, commanded the death of innocent men, women and children, unleashed plagues and floods to destroy humanity. I remember sitting in church and hearing these stories about blood sacrifices and thinking, well, isn't that exactly what the church calls satanic? It always felt wrong. Why would a loving God constantly demand sacrifice and worship? But what if that wasn't God at all? What if that was actually the devil? That makes a lot more sense. After all, does accepting animal and human sacrifice sound godly or satanic? The Bible is said to be inspired by God, but what if it was inspired by Satan to deceive humanity? According to the Cathars, this is exactly the case. Remember the war in heaven? The battle where Satan rebelled against God? Well, we've all heard this story. Satan rebelled against God and was cast out of heaven, but the Cathars had a completely different take. According to the Cathars, they believed that Satan, who's usually depicted as the rebel angel was actually the God of the Bible. The very God who demanded sacrifices, unquestioning obedience, and worship. In their eyes, 
this god was not the true god, but an evil imposter, the devil himself. They called him Rex Mundi, or King of the World. But wait a minute, if the god of the Bible is actually Satan, then who did he rebel against in heaven? Well, it's all revealed in the book that terrified the church and hidden away by the Inquisition, The Secret Supper. The Secret Supper is also known as the Questions of John, because in this book, John has a secret meal in heaven with Jesus who reveals hidden information. But what was it that Jesus revealed? Well, Jesus tells John that there is a higher God, the true God, the God of light who created everything spiritual, while Satan is a false God of darkness who created the material world and human beings. But hold on, how did Satan create human beings? Well, he couldn't create anything spiritual, he could only make the material bodies, but the bodies needed a soul, otherwise they just lay there like lifeless dolls. So to give life to his creation, Satan trapped the souls of fallen angels in material bodies. Which means according to the Cathars, you and I and everyone